comments on my channel are from here on out held for review. So if you say really, if you say lies or call me a fa false prophet or whatever, just because I don't believe the ENICAV is the mark, don't expect your comment to get through. I don't have to put up with this unchristian behavior. Here's what comments will not make it through. Outright lies, insults, rude behavior, name calling, calling me a false prophet, repeating the erroneous idea that Gematria is witchcraft, it's not. Please go look up uh, the Greek word for calculate, which is sephizo. It means isopsephy. They're the same word, sephi, sephizo, isopsephy. Greek word to mean to calculate with pebbles, which actually means to use Gematria. So that's just erroneous and people keep saying it, those comments will be deleted. Um, I'm welcome to accept any comments if you have, if you want to debate, if you want to prove why the ENICAV is the mark. If you would like to have a debate, a polite debate, please present your facts and the reason why you believe so. People have been saying, well, I know because God told me, um, you know, and if you're going to accompany that with rude behavior, that will not be accepted. But of course, I'm open. This channel is open for debate. Please present your facts. We were given a guideline in Revelation 13, especially verses 17 and 18, of uh, how to calculate and what uh, phrases to keep in mind to calculate and figure out what it is. Um, and I absolutely won't take any of this if it's accompanied with rude, insulting behavior. Last video, I did get barraged, um, you know, with some pretty disturbing behavior that I had quite a few of my subs uh, had to mention how bad it was and that they felt very bad that I had to deal with that. So it's just not going to happen anymore. There is absolutely no need and you have no right to hurl in insults just because I believe a different thing than you. Okay, that's fanatical behavior. Please be decent and act like a Christian and we shall have no problems. Why does Obama always hint around about chips, as in chipping in? All the numbers there add to 666, as you can see right there. And then he hints at chipping in um, BlackRock has already been installing the brain chip interface, brain computer interface technology. It uses some symbolism here. It says 31 people already have used BlackRock's technology. Okay, there's a reason why they did that. Um, because 31, the number, equals 792. And this is done for a specific reason. All right, 31 equals 792. Beast forehead mark, the hand or head equals 792. Also wanted to point out CERN LHC keeps coming up in the calculations, 792. CERN LHC, the mark of the beast hand or head equals 792 equals 31. The symbolic number for how many have been brain chipped so far. 31 was the number of implants they said they did so far. That equals CERN, LHC, the beast mark, hand or head. So um, based on BHO's website where I saw that he put in three numbers that together equal 666 and then used the word or the phrase chipping in, I wondered what might be there in this configuration. And so I entered that there and then look and see what we have. The word starting with N and then Anna Roque Sarive, a second one down. Okay, so that is quite something that we've been dealing with equals 
666 chip, right? But the Cerev itself is not the mark. So I did some calculations here and Novel Anaroke Cerev Enicav Port Pass 3410. This is because in other calculations I've arrived at the RFID port pass that goes in the hand as actually being it the mark okay and so this calculates to something very 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 interesting so you see it's three four one zero right there okay so we have it says mark of beast name of man birthday of august 4 1961 so we all know who that is so it literally says it's the mark um, of the man the beast whose birthday is august 4 1961 we all know who that is literally it says it's the mark okay so what is it it's the enicap port pass not just the enicap so again, novel anaroke Cerev Enicav port pass 3410 equals mark of beast name of man birthday of August 4, 1961, 3410. Worshipping the beast and his image. Devoke Enicav on a microchip implant. Microchip implant. Devoke any calf port pass on a microchip implant 2661, the forget, forbidden mark of the beast, worshipping the beast and its image 2661. The image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. The image that I just showed you of the port pass from Sweden is Devoke Enicav port pass on a microchip implant equals 2661 and it literally equals the forbidden mark of the beast worshipping the beast and its image 2661. Later on another code will decode with the forbidden so this is definitely a part of the code. Biden's dark winter was a code for this. Biden says we remain in a very dark winter. So this code, devoke any calf port pass on a microchip implant. If you subtract devoke any calf, it equals winter. So subtract devoke any calf from that code. We're removing it from that. What's left is port pass on a microchip implant and that equals winter. Winter is a code for passport on a microchip implant. What well, we have left dark winter or very dark I mean very dark and then we find a code so very dark is the code for Duvok 19. So we find a code down here that has any cab in it. So we're going to, going to remove that code. So once we remove any cab, what we have remaining is the sun name. Okay, Duvok 19 happens to equal sun worship. Okay. Devoke any cap equals sun worship, as you can see right there. So Biden's very dark winter code was a code for passport on a microchip implant 1134, winter 1134. Very dark equals tell all any cab is the mark. 
if you remove any calf, that equals the son name. While it's not the same exact code, they themselves would know that devoke 19 equals son worship. So it's just a hidden code for devoke any calf passport on a microchip implant. Passport on a microchip implant equals 1134. Which again, devoke any calf passport on a microchip implant equals 2661 which equals the forbidden mark of the beast worshiping the beast and its image 2661 why did they start all of this in sweden in sweden they're already implanting chips to pay for things sweden equals 1044 I found image in this code, so I knew there was something there. So I removed image of to find the rest of the code. And what was left decoded into image of the beast, mark of the beast, I'm here. 1044, Sweden. Back to Black Rock and the brain implant. Rolling down, whose picture do we see there? So he just happens to be on that. Really? They didn't explain why his picture is on there or anything. It's because they know what exa exactly what I am trying to tell you. They know. Okay, BlackRock Neurotech Brain Computer Interface 1579, and then that equals Barack Hussein Obama, number of a man, forehead mark, identified, 1579. BlackRock Neurotech Brain Computer Interface 1579, and then A Swedish company made a short video about an under the skin microchip that will be used to validate Devogue passports. Passes mark sniff test number one, designed to go in the right hand, and pass sniff test number two, plan for microchips to be used as digital money. It looks like they're introducing the mark first in Sweden for some reason. All right, in Sweden, cash is almost extinct and people implant microchips in their hands. They didn't say right hand, but you know, they're not gonna just lay it all out there to pay for things. What do you know? Passes sniff test number two. Test number three, it will be able to be implanted on forehead or be some sort of forehead tattoo. The word um, for in and on is sometimes the same. Sniff test number three. Will this chip be able to go in the forehead? Well, the decoded code from the code they give us for what they call this thing, it says exactly that, that it's a chip that will go in the brain. And I'll show you that. So it passes the sniff test, that it actually goes in the right hand or forehead, not the shoulder and the arm. There's plenty, there's Greek words for differentiating between hand and arm and nose and the forehead so if it was going to be up the nose it would have used a greek word for nose and then also if it were going to be in the arm or the shoulder it would have used the word for arm and not hand there's two uh, greek words for arm shoulder and also means strength i believe and then there's words for hand, there's words for nose, there's words for forehead. Okay, the Bible wouldn't say that it's going to go in the forehead if we were gonna be tricked and it's gonna go in the nose. Let's move forward because I am going to show you that the code for this 
uh, microchip that they are implanting in Sweden is being used for cash purposes to buy and sell and it also is being used to validate the Devoke port pass and that the numbers for that is the number for his mark which you had to have the ENICAV to get that in the first place but it's just the reason why people get the actual mark which is a microchip which does actually go in the right hand of the forehead do you see so they had to do the demic pan to create the reason by which people would be f deceived into getting the actual mark so they're connected but it's not the same thing all right devoke 19 vaction cena 1966 reason quarantine public take Barack hussein obama mark Here's the video the Swedish company released. They use specific words that prove this is in fact the mark. Under the skin microchip devoke port pass. I think it's very much part of my own integrity to have myself chipped and keep my personal data there with me. I actually feel in a way that it's even more controlled on my end, having it in my own hand. So they show and call it an electronic tag. Electronic tags equals 513. 513 is also equal to sign of the beast. Sign is also a biblical name for mark electronic tags equals 513 equals sign of the beast oath is a word that means sign or distinguishing mark and that's why sign can be used interchangeably with mark because that's what that word actually means So I have a chip implant in my arm and I have programmed uh, the chip so that I have my COVID passport and on the chip so that I have my COVID passport and on the chip have my COVID passport and on the chip. There's a reason why he said that and took a moment and paused and looked over because it's a code and he knows it's a code and is communicating it's a code. Devoke port pass on the chip, 1580. 1580 also equals is Barack Hussein Obama mark number of a man microchip. This is not the full code for the mark of the beast. This is just partial because we're still missing the calculation of 666 along with Barack Hussein Obama, but that's coming. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. In this code, we find fulfilled number of a man and Barack Hussein Obama. Calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. I have my COVID passport and on the chip. The Swedish Mark Company employee said a coded phrase with emphasis. He said, devoke passport on the chip. It equals Barack Hussein Obama Mark, number of a man, microchip, 1580. Devoke passport on the chip, 1580. My COVID passport and on the chip. There is a reason they use specific words. They have to inform us in some fashion what they are doing. The Lord knew the only way they would ever disclose anything would be in Gematria. That's why you take the advice in Revelation 13:18. If you had wisdom and understanding, 
you would calculate the number of the bees with gematria, and yet some people remain ignorant and falsely ac accuse of it being witchcraft. If you do simple word studies on Revelation, it is easily fleshed out, but some people like to cast false accusations. According to the riddle, the 666 does have to be involved. Where is it? Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. I have my COVID passport and on the chip. They call it under the skin microchip devoke passports. Okay? You have to pay attention to the words that they're using. So I have a right here we go. Under the skin devogue port pass microchip 2230. 2230 equals it is the forbidden Barack Hussein Obama, the number of a man, mark of the beast. This is how we know that this is true, that this is a true code. Because it the other code was it it is the forbidden Barack Hussein Obama number of a man mark of the beast. And that equaled the um, the devoke passport that the guy was talking about and showing the chip but so i put this in here so instead of saying it is the forbidden barack hussein obama number of a man mark of the beast i put in just the forbidden barack hussein obama number of a man mark of the beast and it is confirmed that this is the mark of the beast because it says those who accepted the mark are damned that's not just a coincidence that's a confirmation. This is the mark. It's not just the any calf. It is the passport chip. And the words under the skin devoke port pass microchip 2230. Calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. This is a portion of what I took out of that code, number of a man, Barack Obama equals 666. Calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Here's the code that equals what they called it. It is the forb forbidden Barack Hussein Obama, the number of a man, mark of the beast. Barack Obama, the number of a man, does equal 666. Implant in my arm and I have programmed uh, the chip so that I have my COVID passport and implant in my arm and I have programmed uh, the chip so that I have my COVID passport and... These words equal 2230. It equals, it is the forbidden BHO, the number of a man, mark of the beast. Implant in my arm and I have programmed uh, the chip so that I have my COVID passport and... Under the skin microchip Devoke port pass 2230. Devoke ARNM medical ID brain chip implants. Barack Obama number of a man. It is the forbidden Barack Hussein Obama the number of a man. Mark of the beast 2230. Devoke ARNM medical ID brain chip implants. Barack Obama number of a man 2230. Part of that code is this number of a man, Barack Obama, which does equal 666. So I have a chip implant in my arm and I have programmed uh, the chip so that I have my COVID passport and on the chip. And the reason is that I always want to have it accessible. And when I read my chip, I just swipe my phone on the chip and then I unlock and it opens up. This is a PDF, which is my COVID passport. A PDF, which is my COVID passport. And this Devoke Ports Pass PDF 1367 is the total. The Beast Number of a Man Registration 1367. A PDF, which is my COVID passport. What we're looking at is the number 2230 right now, okay? 
The, the, the Swedish um, company that is already um, using or implanting this mark to use for money and also implanting it to use as this, okay? They released these words in the video describing what it is, okay? Under the skin, microchip, devoke, ports, pass. So this is, just read it that way, this first, okay? This way and then that way, okay. We're dealing with the number 2230. All of these equal 2230. We're, we are going, the gematria of this number confirms that it is in fact the mark of the beast, okay? In another way. So what is it? It is the forbidden Barack Hussein Obama, the number of a man, mark of the beast. Let's go ahead and read Revelation 13. Let him that, that hath understanding use gematria to figure out the number of the beast. Let's look it up. Sifizo is Isof Sufi is gematria. For it is a number of a man, and his number is 666. Okay, which is also the number of a man, and that number comes to 666. Okay, so we have the beast's name. And then we have the number of a man and then mark of the beast. It is the forbidden Barack Hussein Obama, the number of a man, mark of the beast, 2230. We got this number from the name they gave us to call this thing. But that's not it because you might be wondering, okay, well, where's 666? First of all, 666 is in here. Barack Obama, number of a man, but that's not all. There's more. Barack Obama, number of a man, equals 666. And then that equals 1564. Okay, so 1564 plus 666 equals 2230. For it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. Who is it? It's him. Okay. So does this number tell us anything? It is the forbidden Hussein, the mark of the beast, which is just part of the code. Yeah, it does, actually. These are backwards. Okay. Devoke, R-N-M-A-R-N-M, medical ID, brain chip, implants. Number of a man, Barack Obama. 2230 equals the number they gave us for what the chip is called. The reason why we were told to calculate the number of the beast and figure it out was because it's involved in the recipe to come up with 2230, okay? That's why we needed to calculate and figure it out and work it out and work it out and work it out so that we could show proof that this is in fact the mark. It involves 666, it involves his name, it involves the mark of the beast, it involves the number of a man. All of the phrases we were given as clues. Wisdom. Let him who has understanding Calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Here's what they called it. Under the skin, microchip, devoke, port pass, 2230. This also equals 2230. Barack Hussein Obama, number of a man, mark of beast, prophecy, a chip. It's a chip. It's not an any calf. It's a chip. You have to get the any calf to get the chip, okay? If you've gotten it, don't take this, okay? Just stop where you're at. Barack Hussein Obama, number of a man, mark of beast, prophecy. Why prophecy? Because that equals 666, okay? That's where the 666 comes in. So we have the name of the beast, we have 666, we have the number of a man, and then it describes what it is, and it's a chip, okay?
It's a chip. 2230 also equals this. It is Mark of Beast Barack Hussein Obama. Sealed his fate of eternal damnation in the end. What this does, seals fate of eternal damnation. Be careful, do not take this. Describing the beast. The beast who once was and is now is not an eighth king. He belongs to the seven, is going. Oh, so this one says he is the eighth and is of the seventh and go goeth into perdition. So this also equals 2230. Eighth, Barack Hussein Obama. So it said that he was the eighth. Number of a man. Beast mark. Prophecy. Why prophecy? Equals 666. So essentially beast mark 666. So 2230 equals the eighth Barack Hussein Obama, number of a man, beast mark prophecy. What is this mark? Exactly what they called it in the video. Under the skin, microchip, devoke, ports, pass. I scrambled it so I could say it. And then uh, this is how um, it says that he is the eighth of the seventh, and it'll go off into perdition. So this code right here, this exposes what the mark is, but this is how Gematria works, okay? It, um, it tells us other things. Okay, this is going to tell us something. This is going to tell us. Barack Hussein Obama is Satan in the flesh, okay? It's him for sure. All right, let's get back to this number. 2230. All right. 2,230 is the number we're dealing with. And then this reveals... No one may buy or sell unless he has the mark of the beast Verachip seal. This 100% confirms that this is the mark because the value for 2,230 gives us this, this Verachip. And that's what they were talking about there. Okay, what is Verichip? It is an injectable identification chip that can be inserted under the skin. I found this on a website. This, they do this thing, these kind of things. I just can't find the website, but Verichip under the skin code. I can't find where I found this phrase, but I found this phrase. It equals 2855. These codes all tell us a lot. Just a moment. All right, it says, it says they will be of one mind with the beast, one mind of the beast, controlling bio ID microchip 603 score six. Okay, so that's how they're gonna be of one mind with the beast. It's actually going to control those people's minds. <laughs> You're not going to belong to God anymore. You're going to believe whatever they want you to. On one of the Verichip websites, it says that Verichip transponder is a 16-digit identification number. Okay, which is the um, Devoke <coughs> port pass. So <coughs> the it has a 16 digit identification number for each person. Okay. All of these names or descriptions tell us quite a few things. So hold on a moment. Is the 666 mark of beast connect RFID chip transistor? And what happens to them because their mind is controlled by the chip? And all the world wondered after the beast. Do you ever wonder how they were going to get people to do that? It's because they're literally mind controlled, is what it said. What is 666? 2305? <clears throat> Under the skin, devoke, microchip, parts pass, decoded. 
This equals what is 666? What is Verichip? Verichip is an uh, injectable identification chip, okay? That's what it says. Okay, so Verichip is listed as being a Verichip injectable identification chip. This is what it's called. You can look all over. That's what they call it. What is Verichip? Verichip is an injectable identification chip, okay? This decodes, so every code enfolds on itself. And how I do it is I look for clues down here. The first thing I saw was code for. Okay, that's how I started. So I remove that, then I take, I just, I kind of let my intuition and the Sp Holy Spirit guide me and I ask for help, I pray for help all the time. But it is a lot of work. I am getting better at it and it's getting a lot faster to decode, but it is code for Barack Hussein Obama, Mark of Beast, Number of a man, digital ID chip. Code four is medical ID, so we can change that if we want to, but this still makes a lot of sense. So Verichip, I just entered it that way, but read it. Verichip injectable identification chip. It is code for Barack Hussein Obama, mark of beast, number of a man, chip digital id digital id chip sorry okay so let's re remove code for it is code for we can also put medical id it is barack hussein obama mark of the beast number of a man digital i chip id chip medical id Verichip injectable identification chip. And this is the name of it. And just to show you one more time, this fulfills all the clues. This is his full, his, you know, so the name of the beast. It is the number of a man. And then his number is 666. So we have 666 right here. And then we have 8th Barack Hussein Obama, number of a man, which equals um, Barack Hussein Obama is Satan in the flesh. There's a lot more 223 codes. Enter the skin, devoke microchip ports pass. They showed you it right on the screen. They also used a lot of other codes that equal what it really is, which is the mark of the beast. So, Devoke or Anaroke Demic Pan was created for a reason. The Enian Cav was planned for a reason. I'm not saying that I don't know what happens to you spiritually if you take it, but I do know that you didn't commit the unforgivable sin. Okay, that's the most important thing. You didn't take the damning mark of the beast. And I am just trying to tell you this because I want to make you feel better. I know a lot of believers have taken it and are wondering where their fate lies. And my heart went out to you because in a moment of pure, I was like on death's door. I had vomited every two minutes for three days at that point that I was in the hospital. I was vomiting in a vomit because of all the stuff that they're releasing. I was out of my mind. They told me, oh, you, we, you have to take this. And I looked at it and for a second I was like, I don't want to, but I couldn't fight them. I was exhausted. And I just wasn't thinking. I didn't have my right mind. They've given this test to kids all over the whole world. And there's people that are not going to be appointed to his wrath. His, the mark is the wrath. I really don't think kids are going to be subjected. I begged 
for God to reveal this to me. I begged and it fits every single qualification of the mark. It has the number 666. It has the beast's name. It clearly defines what it is. Okay? Just Enecav alone is not enough. And the evoke 19 Enecav does not in Gematria have any of those qualifications and it doesn't fit the litmus test because you're not be I'm able to buy and sell. I didn't take it. Okay. It's showing little hints of it because that's where we're going. It's a warning. Um, if any of you want to leave um, comments and you're still stuck on the any calf being the mark, that's fine. Just leave some proof instead of just saying that it is and calling me a false teacher. Anyway, God bless all. Of um, I have to monitor or approve the um, the comments. I will approve the comments immediately. I just I had um, people gossiping and talking about me on my own channel, which was just really rude. So um, and also it just puts me in a really bad mood. And, uh, you know, these days are really hard, so it's not very loving to treat your sister or, or brother like that on something that you don't agree on. As a loving person, you state your facts and you state your position and you list your facts and your reasons why you believe something and you share out of love with your brother or sister why you feel that way, especially if you feel like that person is going in an erroneous way. But taking it to the step of labeling and calling somebody a false prophet it's just it, you just you can't see yourself you cannot see how harsh and unloving and also gossipy and um just ugly it, it's just really shocking behavior to me it's not christian behavior there's no love there